Let's see if this works. Uh, yeah, I just want to share this one. Okay. So here's my nodes or whatever. But I've got three nodes in my cluster. Uh, but this is Zabbix. <clears throat> um, it's a, it's a monitoring. So you do uh, know how to use this. Well, I've, using, I've been using Proxmox for years. <laughs> but have you been having, do you have VMs on there that you're actually using with no VNC? Uh, so I, I I don't use VMs. Or just, L just LXEs. Much, uh, mostly LXEs, but like Mastodon is its VM. Um, the Matrix server is in a VM. Uh, let's well, then why see. were you asking? Well, because there's several ways you can access a VM from. Right. Right. Well, within Procmox. So, and so I was wondering how you were doing it via your phone. I uh, already I already know that when I set up Batacera, I'm probably going to end up setting up uh, Sunshine and uh, Moonlight specifically for the lower latency and getting around some of the sound issues that I'm having. So the reason I, I said uh, to install Zabbix is because what's great is like that jellyfin that was filling up your um, your LXC uh, drive space. Yeah, so you can set alerts like see uh, Zabbix. Like if you just want to look at the actual Zabbix server, uh, it'll show you the graphs uh, for the Zabbix server. And this is just running in an LXC via Docker Compose. Um, but they have templates for Proxmox. So if I go to Proxmox here under monitoring, uh, I can view, like I have it set to memory right now. And so I can view like the memory usage of every LXC on my nodes, like available memory and how much memory is being used. Like if we want to go to, uh, let's say Jitsi. So here's Jitsi. And the, the cool thing about it is I can set alerts uh, if it gets over a certain amount. Like, say, storage is what you want to monitor more than anything. So you go to the storage graphs and <clears throat> give it a second to populate. And so Wait, have you, have you set up um, your LXEs to access Samba shares? Uh, no. no. Okay. I, I don't have it. So about, like, like... This is Nginx, uh, NPM, but you can set um, alerts under here, alerts and actions and how you want, what do you want to trigger actions for. So if I go here, uh, uh, you can, I, I don't have anything set right now because, but you can create an action, call it whatever you want, add conditions, like if you want to add, uh, for a trigger and then it'll set an alarm and then it'll go to your email if I go to actions here uh, I have internal actions as well uh, these are kind of come with it but what's cool is like so there's a template for Proxmox uh, that's already built into Zabbix so if I go to PVE is that here uh, this is all my Proxmox, and I can I can choose which node I want. Like say I want to just look at Raspberry Pi. I can look at the graphs because I set up Proxmox on the Raspberry Pi, and then added it to my cluster, and then it can show you everything you want to know about you know what's going on with your Raspberry Pi. But what's great is if you set up an email alert, you know you, if you just want to use Gmail, you can use Gmail. I have it set with my actual email uh, usage, so with my email server, any any time this gets over, like uh, disk usage gets over a certain amount, um, you can set an email alert and it'll say, hey, your disk usage is over 90% or whatever you set the threshold of. And and so you know something's wrong, so you just go and fix it. But uh, it's just running, I'll show it to you, it's running as in this LXC right here, and I've got a, it's kind of hefty, so I gave it two cores and two gigabytes of memory. You can see that right here. And then if I go to my uh, actual LXC and log in,
And so it's, uh, <clears throat> you can see what it's using here, but you can also see uh, this is using uh, like seven different containers that are all being uh, orchestrated through uh, your main Zabbix uh, server, which uses MySQL. And it has different, you know, different, if you want to use Postgres, if you want to use SQLite, I probably should have used SQLite, so I'd have better performance. But I tried running this first on the, um, oh, what do you call it? The, uh, the Wise Thin Client. And, um, it, it was too much for it. And plus, the Wise Thin Client, uh, didn't have a certain, uh, like a CPU extension that I need to run freaking Oracle MySQL. And it was a big mess. And anyway, but yeah, I, rec I recommend Zabbix for sure. If you're going to start uh, orchestrating major like LXEs and VMs and stuff and you want to make sure nothing goes wrong.